Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 14 from ratio tables, equations, and double number line diagrams to plots on the coordinate plane. So our first classwork says that Kelly is traveling by train with her soccer teams team from Yonkers, New York to Morgantown, West Virginia for a tournament. The distance between Yonkers and Morgantown is 400 miles. The total trip will take eight hours. The train schedule is provided below. Okay, so here are leaving Yonkers going to New York, leaving Morgantown going to West Virginia. Leaving Yonkers, New York going to Morgantown, leaving Morgantown, West Virginia going to Yonkers, my fault. So we're going from New York to Morgantown and this is the return. Exercise one says to create a table to show the time it will take Kelly and her team to travel from Yonkers to each town listed in the schedule. Assuming that the ratio of the amount of time traveled to the distance traveled is the same for each city. That means we have a constant of proportionality. Okay. Then extend the table to include the cumulative time it will take to reach each destination on the ride home. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in these miles. So leaving New York to go to Allentown is 100 miles. Leave Allentown and go to Carlisle is another 100 miles, totaling 200 miles. And then Berkeley Springs, West Virginia is 300 miles. And Morgantown, West Virginia is 400 miles. It says the total trip will take eight hours. So the trip from New York to Morgantown is eight hours. That's what we were given. I'm gonna continue on the right side miles because if we return home, we're now in Morgantown and we're going back the opposite direction and they're each 100 miles apart. So from Morgantown back to Berkeley Springs is another 100 miles. Berkeley Springs to Carlisle's another 100 miles. Allen to, to Allentown, Pennsylvania is another 100 miles. Then finally Yonkers is another 100 miles. And the round trip is going to total 800 miles. Okay, so we need to find our constant of proportionality. We have one X and one Y that we know. So I'm going to label hours X and miles Y. The number of hours we travel will determine how many miles we went. So miles is dependent. So we have the equation to find constant proportionality and it is k equals y divided by x. So if I come down to this one right here, I know y and x, so I'll substitute in and that will give me my k. y is 400 divided by 8. Well, 8 goes into 45 times, so 8 goes into 400 50 times. So now I know my K. So 8 times 50 is 400. So if I have a 50 here all the way down the middle, when I'm working left to right, it's multiplication. 8 times 50 is 400. But if I work right to left, 400 divided by 50 is 8. So what I need to do to find my hours is divide all of these by 50. 100 divided by 50 is 2. 200 divided by 50 is 4. 300 divided by 50 is 6. And now we see a pattern. We're adding 2 each time. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So there's the table completed. Number two, it says to create a double number line diagram to show the time it will take Kelly and her team to travel from Yonkers to each town listed in the schedule. Then extend the double number line diagram to include the cumulative time it will take to reach each destination to ride home. Okay, so all they're asking us to do is represent the ratio of the distance traveled on the round trip to the amount of time taken with an equation. So we want to just call the top line hours and the bottom one miles 
So time and distance. So if I go back to my table here, I want to copy it. Hours, miles, 2, 100, 4, 200. So it's going to be, we're going to start off at Yonkers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. And obviously if we traveled zero hours, we traveled zero miles. Our, our K was 50, so 2 times 50 was 100. And 4 times 50 is 200, so we're increasing by 100 every time. So I'm just transferring the table to a double number line. Using the information from the double number line diagram, how many miles would be traveled in one hour? So now we're going to split this down to one hour, and that's right here, and that's midpoint. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. So it's going to be 50 miles. And that was our K, if I go back here and look. That is our K. 50 miles per hour, so that's our rate. And this answer to saying, how do you know? Okay, if the train is moving at a constant speed, let me bring this in. Okay, if the train is moving at a constant speed, half of two hours is one hour. And half of 100 miles is 50 miles. So we divided both by two. Example one. Dinner service starts once the train is 250 miles away from Yonkers. What is the minimum time the players will have to wait before they can have their meal? So we want, now want to put this into a table and graph it. So I'm just going to repeat the table we had before. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. They aren't giving us enough squares here. Um, Okay, so in two hours, we went 100 miles. Four hours, we went 200 miles, because it was 50 miles per hour. 300, 400, and 500 miles. Ordered pairs are going to be, this is x, this is y, and an ordered pair is x comma y. So this is going to be 2 comma 100, 4 comma 200. 6 comma 300, 8 comma 400, and finally 10 comma 500. I want to label my origin 0. I'm going to put time x down on the x axis, which is down here, labeling it hours. And then this is going to be miles. Okay, so if each square, I'm going to skip a square, so this is going to be 100, 200, 300 miles, 400, 500, 600, and so on. I need to get over to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is right here. I'm going to spread these out a little bit because I have so much room. I don't want to cramp everything up. So I'm going to make each, every other square, a unit of one. Okay. And now I'm going to plot the points. If I go over to two, we traveled 100 miles. If I went over to four hours, we went 200 miles. Six hours was 300 miles. Eight hours, 400. And then finally 10 comma 500, go over to 10, go up to 500, and place a dot. If I get my ruler out, move it down here. I'm going to rotate it so it's parallel, so it lays right on the line. 
Get as close as possible. That's pretty good right there. And draw a line through all those points. Okay. So there is our line. And it goes through the origin. So if I go zero hours, I went zero miles. So this is proportional because it's a straight line going through the origin. Okay, so this is time and distance traveled also. We should name, name our graph. Time and distance traveled. Okay, that is the end of lesson 14. Go do your problem set. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to answer that question. I almost published this before realizing that I did that. I've not finished this problem. It said, what is the minimum time the players will have to wait before they can have their meal? So where is 250 miles on my number line? My apologies there. So I'm looking for 250. Well, here's 200, here's 300. So I went in increments of 50, which is perfect. So 250 is right here. So I come over and it's the dot that would be right here. Here's where they start serving food. And that is after five hours. Okay, so now that is the end of lesson 14. Go do your problem set.